welcome to Local SEO Today. I'm Roger Murphy. And I'm John Vaughn. Today we want to speak to lawyers or uh, business owners, firm owners, John, that are in the legal industry. Um, they require new files, they require clients. So marketing, let's talk about that and let's talk about lawyers. Yeah, marketing, advertising, it's probably one of the biggest impacts that can happen um, if you're looking to grow your files, right? Yeah. Um, where do you start? Mm -hmm. What has kind of worked? Mm -hmm. um, there's so many different ways to advertise, yep. right? And what we've seen over the years, like we've worked with thousands of um, potential business owners like yourself in the legal uh, industry. Mm -hmm. and and, and what really worked in the past no longer works today, mm -hmm. right? So what we're going to talk about is what kind of worked 10, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. right? And we're going to talk about traditional media. They say you don't know where you're going unless you know where you've come from. So let's talk about where it used to work, or and, and not that it doesn't today, but where what what most people did before John and what seems to be working today. Yeah, and I hear this a lot. Like um, I get a lot of referrals or word of mouth. Mm -hmm. um, and what happens when that no longer exists? Exactly. Right. Um, so you need to continually replace uh, your files yeah. and get new new files. That's right? right. If you've been in the legal profession at all for the last 10 or 15 years, you'll know that the choices were, and, they, and to an extent they still are, you had, uh, if, let's say you were a personal injury lawyer, or you were an employment lawyer, or a criminal lawyer, you had the phone directory, you had bus shelter advertising, John, we had radio, television, where else would, would they promote the Local business? newspaper. Local newspaper. Uh, so magazines. Yes. Yep. Right. Um, but anything direct. Um, and also referrals, right? So mm -hmm. they relied heavily on, say, uh, doctors mm -hmm. or anyone that's kind of related in the industry, physiotherapists, chiropractors, right? right? Um, but any form of relationship mm -hmm. as well. So there's ways to advertise and get your name out there, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but what kind of gives you the best return? Yeah, right? and it should be mentioned to your point about the best return. 10, 15 years ago, even, even 10, seven years ago, um, Google did not have the, uh, the uh, headlock, the, the, the stranglehold on search that does today. So the uh, different mediums that used to work have really been affected. It's called disruptive advertising, but Google disrupted the whole industry because it is the search tool of anything. You can search for everything today. Yeah, and traditionally it was the yellow pages mm -hmm. because it was the directory of verticals so you can actually go into a sure. specific industry yeah. such as a vertical like employment lawyer or mm -hmm. personal injury lawyer or um, real estate real lawyer, estate, yeah. right? Or criminal lawyer. There were subheadings within the lawyer category mm -hmm. where you can actually look for a whole database of all law firms in that local market that can satisfy that user's exactly. Exactly. Search query, yeah. right? So traditionally, that was it. When you were advertising, you wanted to be that number one spot or the first couple where they can call you and get a free console. Mm -hmm. right? So today, you have a, as a business owner, you're a law firm, you're gonna go, we have a limited amount of marketing funds we wanna put out there. Where do we get the best return on our investment, ROI? Where's that gonna be? And what we believe in is you gotta dominate the SERP mm -hmm. on Google because if 90% of the population is using search engines and Google primarily, you wanna be where people are looking. Right, and SERP, by the way, is search engine results page. That is the key, so you wanna be there. And John, there's a lot of tricks to the trade, right? Google's got 200 signals they're looking at for every website, and they got this philosophy of, we only put the best sites, the best, uh, most complete websites for any given search. And maybe that's why Google's so powerful, because of this philosophy they have. Yeah, and what we believe in is, you know, if you understand advertising, um, and you want a constant uh, flow of ready to buy customers, you need to be on that first page, mm -hmm. not just you know, you can pay to play, and we'll talk about that in more detail, sure. but below that paid section is that map, mm -hmm. a three pack, and below that is the organic listings, yeah. right? There's gonna be a lot of directories, but you, what you wanna own is that prime real estate of satisfying the user's intent with your website. Mm -hmm. And that all starts off with building a solid website. Yes, yeah. So, and a website 10 years ago is not the type of website you need today. It has to meet these signals that Google's looking for 
dashboards. It's um, uh, crawlability, uh, scalability, that Google can see it easily. There are certain platforms that work really well, John. Responsiveness, the yeah. speed of the website, the UX, the design. It has to satisfy users' uh, intent, right? It has to look good on a phone yeah, as well as a friendly. computer. Yeah. And if it doesn't, these are little things that all add up that will diminish or water down your, your ability to get your website to rank. And Google is actually factoring in how long someone stays on your website as sure. well. So if you only have a five or 10 second retention, someone lands on your website, doesn't see what they're looking for and presses that back button, mm -hmm. actually has a negative impact yeah. on your website. So yeah. what we do here at Local SEO Search is really focus on what are the deliverables with the over 200 signals that Google's looking mm -hmm. for to help websites get ranked on that first page. Exactly, because if you ask 10 of your friends, how many of uh, us use Google? You'll find that almost nine out of 10 will say Google. But if you ask how many of uh, your friends look uh, and look at results that are on page three or four or five of Google, you'll find out that very, very, very few, almost zero will look there. You have to be, highly ranked page one um, you know maybe page two but really all, that's where all the buyers where all the people are going to choose make their decisions that's where they're going to be looking and the challenge is and you as a, a law firm you're going to say well there's only 10 spots on Google's first page. Mm -hmm. How am I gonna compete? Yes. Where do I start? Mm -hmm. And what's my budget gonna look like? Exactly. And when do you start, right? Mm -hmm. These are some of the questions we get on a daily basis, yeah. right? And it's an excellent question. It actually, because there's so many search variables or different search terms, John, that get put in, whether it's, let's say someone's looking for personal injury, there's personal injury lawyer, there's uh, slip and fall, there's motorcycle accidents. These are all different search terms that people are typing in today. Therefore, the more search terms there are, the more ability you as a business a firm, a law firm in that industry. That's why you can look for uh, categories that may not have as much competition, but it's still valuable for your business. Exactly, so figure out what your unique selling proposition is mm. and go after that so that you can dominate that industry, exactly. right? Um, so we work with a lot of firms like yourself who's mm. watching this to really make them become the industry leaders in their local market. In their vertical, that's in right. In their vertical, yeah. yes. So we help you actually dominate the SERP, again, search engine results page, and help you get as many of these ready to buy customers looking on Google that's looking for a, a solid law firm mm -hmm. to eventually pick you. Yeah, so we're talking about Google and Bing and Yahoo. Let's speak to, uh, I guess, the, the, one of the products that Google offers, which is Google Ads. Yes, and this is more of a pay to play, mm. right? You can easily call Google up or work with a, a firm that focuses on pay to play, mm -hmm. uh, paid AdWords, where you can design an ad make it appear based on your budget. You can actually pick, you know, radius and time being on that mm -hmm. um, serve. And, and really it's pay to play. So the more you spend, the more likelihood you will appear, but you're bidding per click. Yes. And what happens is usually law firms have a limited budget if it's hundreds of dollars a day or thousands of dollars a day. Mm -hmm. When that budget expires, which you know typically it does because yes. Google wants to actually use up all your money, mm -hmm. um, they when that expires, you get taken down. Right, so then think about that. Your, you, your, your whole marketing effort ceases. So unless you keep feeding it, you fall off the page and you're not found anywhere. So the idea of organic placement, that means you naturally occur, you naturally appear day and night, morning and evening, uh, seven days a week for those search terms you're going after. That is a very, very powerful um, strategy to go after because you never know, you're a lawyer, uh, in the. you just never know when someone needs your service. Right now, someone could be looking for a firm that provides the type of specialty, whether it's criminal, personal injury, maybe it's family law, maybe it's trademark. You don't know who's searching. You need to make sure that you're found whenever they're ready to buy, not when you've had a budget to spend. And it might be really quick, like you can set this up and you can see good results right away, mm -hmm. right? But you're renting space, mm -hmm. right? And what if happens you buy the ads, yes. if you're buying the ads, yes. what you're trying to do is earn your way. Mm -hmm. Because as a user, 
the user intent is different with ads versus organic. Sure. Right? You want to earn your way. Mm. It may take a little bit more time. You know, there's a lot of signals and we as a company, we focus on all these signals, mm. building a solid content strategy, link strategy, social stat strategy, reputation strategy. There's different things that are very critical for you to actually propel your business mm -hmm. and earn your way with a solid website to get found with a lot of these terms. So if you're the law firm, think of this. If you, and you can try, try the AdWords, but that is renting space. It's like being a renter. If you go after organic, which then you're naturally appearing all the time, you are an owner. You own that real estate on that page. But you do need a good company. There's lots of them. We feel we're a great company to, to work with you. But how a company that can work continually to make sure that all the signals are being met that Google's looking for to earn your place and your real estate on, on highly ranked on page one and on the map. So not just Google, there's other forms of advertising. I want to talk about this because, um, you know, there's a lot of digital strategies out there. There's okay. email marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a solid email database, you can definitely market within your internal mm -hmm. database. Um, there's social media marketing where you can place ads on Facebook, yep. Instagram, um, you know, Twitter, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn. There's so many different ways to advertise on mm -hmm. there as a sponsored ad. Um, and then even some of these traditional means are now, you know, more common for digital, like podcasts, mm -hmm. um, you can actually advertise with their audience, sure. um, YouTube advertising, so mm -hmm. if you're doing video advertising, you want more brand awareness, you mm -hmm. can definitely go after that. Influence marketing is a big thing, if mm -hmm. you are, you know, if, if there's a huge audience and following right. for certain people. Um, so there's different ways to advertise. Mm -hmm. and. You know, what we believe in is try different things, mm -hmm. see what works best for your business, mm -hmm. and if it works, continue doing it. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't started search engine optimization, start doing it today, right? Mm -hmm. Because what we believe in is it will provide you the best solid return on investment, yep. focus on ready to buy customers who are looking for your services every single day, and they just need to find that right company. When you look on Google, you can type it in, and it, Google actually says that the number one thing you can do for your law firm, or any business owner can do, is optimize your website. So. Find a good company that knows how to optimize, that does the full range of services, answers Google's questions, and that will put you on the road to getting regular phone calls, emails, and booking appointments to come to your business. And what we also have to talk about is running a solid business. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is start getting good third-party reviews, mm -hmm. testimonials, case studies, white papers, whatever it may be, as social proof. Mm -hmm. Because people will read that stuff. That's right. And as long as you have a solid reputation in the industry, mm -hmm. word will get out there if you don't. That's right. right. So what you're looking for is reviews. That is what's referred, John, as you say, to social proof. Get reviews and then respond to the reviews, both the negative and the, if there's ever an, uh, sorry, positive and negative. If there's ever a negative one, you respond to it right away. That is something that just shows you're uh, a, a responsive uh, business owner that appreciates every type of interaction with, with your client. That helps you build trust with other. Um, potential clients. Yeah, and Google's looking at all these signals, right? Mm -hmm. So run a solid business mm -hmm. because it will really help you grow your business online and generate more revenue for exactly. your, your partners, right? Yeah. So your, uh, your business, look to the different strategies, John, the different channels you could try. Always be thinking about your unique proposition. What's special about your, your practice? Are you trademark specialists? Are you personal injury specialists? Are you criminal specialists? Are you uh, family law? Whatever that is, make sure that whoever builds and manages your website understands your unique uh, selling proposition, really, what your unique services are. Perfect. Well, yeah. thanks a lot. I really appreciate this. John, thank you for your time, and thank you for listening today to Local SEO.